Ireland begin the World Cup preparation with a 33-17 win over Italy this evening in the Aviva Stadium. It wasn't the smoothest performance from Ireland this evening, but a 5 try performance was enough to see off a spirited Italian second-half display. Italy opened, opened the scoring inside just two minutes, t- thanks to a penalty from Tommaso Allen. From the kickoff, Ireland knocked on the ball, giving Italy an early scrum. The Italians punished Ireland early on and earned themselves a shot at the posts. Allen slotted, slotted the kick between the posts and gave the visitors the lead. A frustrating opening 10 minutes from Ireland was forgotten when Dave Kilcoyne drove over the Italian try line to give Ireland the lead. Following a series of pick-and-go drives, Kilcoyne received the ball just two metres from the line, and with the help from his binding teammates, powered over the, the whitewash. Jack Crowley, making just his second start for Ireland, easily converted the conversion. Ireland's stronghold of the game was strengthened in the 28th minute after Italian prop Danilo Fischetti was shown a yellow card and sent to the sin bin. Ireland immediately made their man advantage count, scoring an excellent mole try through Caelan Doris. From a lineout, Doris found himself in the usual Josh van der Fleer position at the back of the lineout mole, where he, Rob Herring, and Jack Conan broke away from the initial pot, powering over the try line to get Ireland's second try of the game. Doris was heavily involved in Ireland's third try in the 35th minute, as the home side looked to punish Italy during their sin bin period. Italy were under pressure with the ball in hand inside their own 5 metre line, and scrum half Stephen Varney had his hands on the ball at the ruck and hesitated whilst picking a pass, and was tackled by Doris, winning Ireland the turnover. Stuart McCluskey, arriving to help his teammates, was presented with the ball at the base of the ruck, the inside centre driving over the whitewash with ease. Italy responded well after the halftime break and got the first score of the second half in the 50th minute. Following a, t- a high tackle from Keith Earls, Ireland were penalised and the Italians opted to kick for the corner. From the resulting lineup, Italy were initi- initially held at bay by Ireland's mole, instead opting to go through the hands in the back line. A series of bit brilliant passes from Italy saw the ball work its way out wide to Lorenzo Pani, who fended off Jacob Stockdale to power over the Ireland try line. An excellent conversion from Tommaso Allen would reduce Italy's deficit to 11 points, marking a great start at the second half. Ireland responded well to a much improved Italian second half performance with a 65th minute try from substitute Keane Healy after a series of pick and go drives. Ireland were patient in their approach to the try line, opting for power in the form of the forwards, and it was veteran prop Keane Healy who would power over the line. Italy wouldn't go down without a fight, however, as they bounced back just four minutes later after some brilliant hands from the Italian backs. After a series of drives in the forward pack, Juan Ignacio Brex ran a fierce line, breaking through the, the Irish defence, before producing a wonderful offload to his centre partner, Tommaso Menoncello. The inside centre would get the better of Keith Earls to slide over the try line. Player of the match, Caelan Doris, capped off a wonderful for- performance tonight with his second try of the game in the, second, in the second, 72nd minute. Ireland's forwards did well to gain momentum close to Italy try line, and it looked as if their hard work was undone after a scuff pass from substitute Caelan Blade. His pass, his pass skimming across the floor. Doris was able to scoop the ball up off the ground and cross the white line, benefiting from the unpredictable bouncing ball. A Kieran Forley conversion would see the scary man score his first points for Ireland. It was far from a, per- a perfect performance for Ireland tonight, but they get the job done with a very exciting squad in their first game playing together. Forley, Nash and Stewart all made their senior debuts with, impress- with impressive performances from the bench, whilst there were a number of standout performers from Ireland tonight. Full-time in the Viva Stadium, Arden 33, Italy 17.